Hey, real estate investors. Recently, I was combing through all of the comments in one of my most recent YouTube videos, and I got several Ask James Wise questions from a subscriber by the name of Raquel Pryor. Which reminds me, if you haven't done so already, I need you to go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Anyway, her questions, they got me thinking, because you know, they were questions about, you know, what we're doing to these rental units. One of them, great question. What about installing sprinkler systems in these rental units? Another awesome question she asked me was, what about soundproofing these units? You know, materials, suggestions. So what I'd like to do, I want to take those questions and that led me to making this video today. What I'm going to show you today is the top five things you need to do to bulletproof your rental property. Let's dive in. When I say bulletproofing your rental property, what I mean by that is what are things that you can do to these properties that are going to prevent them from costing you money? How can we reduce hassle? How can we reduce cost on these properties? What can we do to make these more profitable, bulletproof rental investments? The very first thing you need to do to bulletproof your rental property is lower your tenant's water usage and ultimately increase your return by lowering your water cost. The easiest way to lower that tenant's water usage is by installing low flow fixtures. So all of the faucets, we wanna install low flow faucets. We wanna replace any old toilets. If you think you're saving money by keeping old toilets and not spending the extra few hundred dollars to replace those toilets, you're dead wrong you're absolutely gonna recoup the cost of a brand new low flow toilet and lower water bills. So absolutely spend the money up front and get those toilets replaced with low flow toilets in addition to the low flow faucets and you can even do low flow shower heads. That's gonna save you a ton of money. On top of that, something you probably haven't thought of, those were kinda easy, but this one is something investors never think of. All of those exterior water spigots and hose bibs, whatever you wanna call them, I want you to go ahead and remove and cap those. Those do not add any value to your rental investment. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna prevent the tenants from washing their cars, watering the lawn, running sprinklers, and filling up swimming pools. On top of that, swimming pools, that's actually a double whammy. Swimming pools are gonna hurt you because they cost a ton of money in water and sewer bills, and your insurance provider hate swimming pools. As soon as your insurance provider finds out that you have a swimming pool at your rental property, your insurance premium is going to go through the roof. If you would like Holton Wise to sell a property you already own in a video just like this one, send an email to sales at holtonwise.com. The second thing that you need to do to bulletproof your rental property is remove any and all carpet and either refinish the hardwoods that are under it or replace that carpet with a vinyl allure flooring. Installing a vinyl flooring or refinishing hardwoods, sometimes investors choose not to do this because replacing carpet is actually a lot cheaper than doing either of those options. It's cheaper, it's easier. But cheap and easy isn't always what's gonna lead us to long-term success. You see, as soon as you refinish those hardwoods or you install that vinyl allure flooring, you're done. You don't have to worry about that. You're gonna spend a little bit more on that first turnover, but in between all the subsequent turnovers, you don't really have to do anything to that floor. If you just replace the carpet, you're gonna be replacing carpet in between several tenants. You're gonna be doing that, you know, depending on how your tenant lived, you might do it right after every single tenant, or you might get one, two, three, four tenants. It's just not the way to do this in the long term. Do it once, do it right. And when you're refinishing those hardwoods, if you find that your hardwoods are pretty old, they're kind of damaged, you know, sometimes people think, ah, these hardwoods, these are just too bad, too destroyed, too far gone. Another tip I'd like you to do is stain them with an incredibly dark color. The darker you go, the more things that you can cover up. You don't want to go with an incredibly light color if you have some old beat up flooring. 
I've gone so far as to stain hardwood floors black. A really shiny black is really gonna cover up a lot of those imperfections. Make sure you're subscribed to our investor mailing list. We are going to send you an email with the latest investment properties for sale every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can expect a full video offering, just like what you've seen today, in every one of these emails. The third thing that I'd like you to do to bulletproof your rental properties, and it's important to note that this particular thing is gonna be limited to multifamily properties, I want you to soundproof in between those units. As investors, the biggest killer to our return is tenant turnover. One of the things that causes tenant turnover, especially in multifamily properties like duplexes, is all the additional noise that is created by the neighbor living in such close proximity to you. If you've got an up-down duplex, the guy downstairs is always going to complain about the guy upstairs and vice versa. So it's a good idea to go ahead and soundproof in between those units. Now, it's gonna be cost prohibitive to actually rip down the ceilings and professionally soundproof in between these units. That's just not something that's, that you can feasibly do on a reasonable budget. So what you can do to soundproof your multifamily units is install carpet. Now I know what you're thinking, you're just like, dude, the second thing you just told us to do to bulletproof these rentals was remove carpet. Now you're telling us to install carpet. Yes, I am telling you to install carpet on some of your multifamily units. If you find that you have a building where the noise just carries too much, you know, you're gonna see this in some really old duplexes and that noise creates really short-term tenancies, it's probably in your best interest to do carpet in those units to keep that turnover down. Because that's what hurts us, guys. The cost that we have to spend re-renovating these units, releasing these units, sprucing these things up, making them look beautiful in between tenants, that's where we get hit. That's where our return is chipped away. So do I like to see wood floors and vinyl floors whenever possible? Yes, because the turnover cost will be lower. But I'd rather have a little bit higher turnover cost if I only have that turnover cost once every four to five years as opposed to every 12 months. That's just not something I wanna see. So if you have to install carpet to keep those turnovers down, my recommendation to you is make sure you go with an incredibly dark color. You absolutely never wanna put in a really light or like a white carpet. Absolutely not. I don't care if you think that that white carpet will look beautiful in your unit. Your goal isn't to make it look super beautiful in that unit. Your goal is to pick a color that matches the overall scheme of the apartment, but will be as durable and last as long as possible. Darker is better. The darker you go, the longer you'll get out of that carpet. The longer you get out of that carpet, the more money you can put where it belongs in your pocket. Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to holtonwise.com today. The fourth thing that I would like you to do to bulletproof your rental property is to install high end non-locking handles with a deadbolt. What I mean by this is when you have a door, traditionally you see the deadbolt and you see the handle. The handle has a little lock on it. I don't want you to install those. What I'd like you to install is a deadbolt with a lock and then your handle needs to have absolutely no keyhole. You need to do this for two reasons. Number one, doing this is gonna greatly reduce, if not outright eliminate, tenant lockouts. A very common issue that we have with rental properties is tenants accidentally locking themselves out of their unit while their keys are still inside of the unit. When you have a locking handle, it's incredibly easy to do. You simply turn that little lock on the handle, then you walk out the door. Now you can't get back into the apartment. If you actually have to put your key in the deadbolt from the outside of the apartment, it is impossible to lock yourself out with your keys being inside of the unit. The second reason you wanna do this is it's actually gonna save you time and money every time you do a turnover. Whenever you turn over one of these properties, you have to change the locks. That is a must do. 
I've met investors and I've talked to investors that don't change the locks in between every single tenant. Never do that. You're opening yourself up to extreme liability. Never do that. It is a must. If you haven't been doing that just yet, start right now. Every single time you turn a unit over, you need to change those locks. Even though your tenant gives you back all the keys, you have no way of knowing how many copies that tenant made. There could be 10, 20, 30 people who have access to that unit. So that's a no-go. So now that we know that we are replacing the locks every single time a tenant turns over, we want that process to be as cheap, quick, and efficient as possible. So if you have a non-locking handle, all you ever need to worry about is replacing the deadbolt as opposed to replacing the deadbolt and the handle. The last thing I'd like to say about locks is don't cheap out. Don't buy those crappy entry-level locks. You, know, you can get the handle and the deadbolt for like $15. That's not what you need. When we're renovating rental properties, the real cost, guys, it's not in the materials. It's in the labor. If you buy those cheap products, they're harder to install, they take a lot longer, they tend to break often. At Holton Wise, we only use Schlage locks. That is an incredibly high-end and expensive lock, but A, it works great, and B, it's quick and easy to replace. Set yourself up for success in the future. Why leave a lingering problem out there? Get the best possible product so things are much quicker and easier for you in the future, and you could spend that additional time, those additional resources, looking for better deals, growing your business, not messing around with crappy locks. You would never buy a property without a building inspection, right? The thing is, the inspection is limited to the building itself. The profitability of a real estate investment is not just about the four walls and a roof you're buying, it's also about the neighborhood, rental demand, and tenant base. Before you risk your hard-earned money on a deal that you come across on your own, go to holtonwise.com to purchase a video analysis of that property today. We've built a completely automated sales and investing process here at Holton Wise. You are able to go from spectator to real estate investor with a few clicks of the mouse. However, we understand that this automated process isn't for everyone. If you have enjoyed all of the free content on the Holton Wise YouTube channel and holtonwise.com, but want to dive in even deeper with a more personalized investing experience, you can sit down and talk shop with James Wise directly. Visit holtonwise.com to schedule a one-on-one -on -one coaching session today. The fifth thing that I want you to do to bulletproof your rental property is remove any and everything that can be clogged, hung on, broken, or injure a tenant. If you were to look around your home right now, I bet you there are a ton of things around your house that are just asking to be broken. When we're looking at these properties, we need to see them as investment vehicles. So we need to go through, fine tune these investment vehicles and reduce anything that can create a problem. Anything that can create additional cost without adding additional income. For example, window blinds. Window blinds, if you provide window blinds to your tenants, these are easily broken during the tenancy and they don't add any additional value. Nobody is gonna pay more money to rent your house or apartment because you provided them with window blinds. That is a cost that you can simply push onto the tenant so you don't need to worry about fixing or replacing window blinds during the tenancy or in between the tenancies. Ceiling fans. Ceiling fans add zero additional value to your rental property. If it's too hot, the tenants have air conditioning for that. You don't want any ceiling fans because that's something that's moving. It's something that can be hung on by children or drunk adults. So go ahead and remove all ceiling fans. Light fixtures with pool chains. You don't need to have anything with a pool chain in these properties. Go through the property, remove anything that has a pool chain. A light switch is a much better alternative than anything with a pull chain. Chandeliers. I mean, come on. Chandeliers, get those out of here. That is just money being sucked out of your bank account if you're trying to have large chandeliers in your rental properties. Wall sconces. Anytime you have something hanging off of a wall, that is a potential problem. Remove all wall sconces. Towel racks and bars. You don't need those. 
Nobody is going to rent your property or not rent your property because you didn't provide them a place to hang their towel. That's just not something people think of. Towel racks are just something that is an easy path to destruction. Think about how easy it is for someone to grab that towel rack, rip it off the wall. Now you have your towel rack you need to replace and you need to get somebody in there to completely repair the drywall. You don't need to worry about it. Glass doors. You don't need glass doors. You have to provide a door. Why provide a door that is easily broken? Let's just provide the tenants with a normal door and eliminate the risk of a ball or a person going through that glass costing you time and money. You're going to have to fix the door and you may have hospital bills for that tenant. That is not something you want to deal with. There is no upside to having doors with glass in them in your rental properties. Moving into the kitchen, dishwashers and garbage disposals. You may have a dishwasher and a garbage disposal at your personal residence, but you need to think, who is my tenant base? This is more important when you're renting to low income or tenants on the lower end of that pricing spectrum. These luxuries that you may be used to might not be the norms in that particular neighborhood. So if they aren't the norm in that neighborhood, I do not recommend you include them in your rental property because dishwashers and garbage disposals are very easily broken. These items can be money pits for a landlord. Lastly, gas stoves. Now, admittedly, this risk is incredibly, incredibly low, but we can never eliminate risk when we are rental property owners. We can simply mitigate it, and we want to mitigate it as much as humanly possible to help preserve our ROI. So instead of having gas stoves in my rental properties, I prefer to have electric stoves in my rental properties. A tenant's having a party or they're brushing up against the stove, they lean against it, gas is pumping into your rental property. Next thing you know, a spark, a lighter, a cigarette, you know, causes a fire or a small explosion. Admittedly, that's incredibly low risk, but the risk is still existent. So why deal with it? Simply eliminate it. Let's bulletproof these rental properties. That's it, real estate investors. Those are the top five things that I think you need to do to bulletproof your rental property. We wanna bulletproof these rental properties so we reduce problems and those costs associated with those problems so we can get to our ultimate goal, which is to achieve the highest possible return on our investment. If you have any more questions about real estate investing, simply do it or Kel did, post them in the comments below, utilize the hashtag AskJamesWise, and we'll make a video just like this one answering your specific questions. As an additional bonus to all of you who've made it this far in the video, I'm gonna give you an additional thing you can do to bulletproof your rental property. What you wanna do is paint your property in a very neutral color scheme. Somewhere on the screen or in the description below, I've linked to a video where I explain the exact colors and paint types that you need to use in your rental properties to achieve the highest return on your investment. Thanks for watching. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies 
but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.